Just enough time for a quick update, a little vlog. Just enough time and just enough battery, I think. So, lately I've been thinking about uh, adopting a wait and see attitude versus an act and correct attitude. Often, I suppose it's laziness that makes it easy to adopt a wait and see attitude. To just let things be as they are and let nature take its course and see what happens. If you have a, a garden and you adopt a wait and see attitude with that garden, you know what's going to happen to it. It's going to become overgrown with weeds and it's going to become a huge mess. But in your head, you have this idea of what a perfect garden is supposed to look like. And you know that with the limited time and resources that you have, no matter what you do to the garden, it's not going to match that perfect garden in your head. And that's why you never start on the garden. I'm not talking about you, by the way, I'm talking about me. But you know what I mean. So because you know that the garden is not going to come out perfect, you don't start on it. So you just leave it and wait and see what happens. And of course you know what's going to happen. Weeds. But what choice do you have? It's not going to be perfect no matter what you do. But if you take a moment and pause and apply rational thought to it, it's easy to see that a an okay garden, a mediocre garden, is better than a vacant lot full of weeds and rodents, probably snakes hiding in the overgrown grass, maybe a dead animal or two. Obviously, even a mediocre garden is better than that. The thing is that a mediocre garden, if you apply regular tiny bits of effort to it, as long as it's regular, that mediocre garden is going to get better and better and better. And it will never become that perfect garden that you see in your head. Because the moment it approaches that perfection, your ideal of perfection is going to increase and improve. So no matter what you do with that garden, it's never going to become perfect. And that is a pain that you have to live with forever. But the thing is that the garden that you think is just up to 80% standard today is actually beyond yesterday's 100%. Of course, I'm not speaking about 24 hours ago. I'm talking about the standard you used to have in your mind. You used to think that was perfect, but you've surpassed that standard. And you look at it today and you think this is still only like 80%. It's not there yet. But it's actually gone beyond what you thought was perfect. So there's that pain of never ever reaching perfection. But if you have wisdom, if I have wisdom, then you will realize that perfection is an illusion. You can do better than perfection. And what you're doing today is actually beyond what you once thought was perfect. So these crappy vlogs that I'm putting out, yeah, they're crappy. But first of all, they are an infinite improvement over nothing. And they are better than what I once thought I could do. No kidding.